Hey, how are you doing? The factor of war and conflict has been penetrated in every mortal thing in our society. The relationship between human beings and conflict is inseparable because our universal sense of value is captured in attractive part of conflict that has justifiable reasons. Conflict has a trait that can be justified if there is a pretext with justifiable reason that enable us to secure public interest. In our sense of value and in our sense of ethics, conflict is recognized as 100% an accept acceptable behavior superficially. But we undoubtedly have dualism to conflict, which is between good or bad, or justice or injustice, depending on what kind of position you support based on the sense of your justice. For example, now Ukraine was being invaded by Russia and Ukraine chose to fight with Russia to protect their land from further invasion from Russia. As the truth, Russian army repeated committing a number of atrocities against Ukrainian civilians in the battlefield. And people in the world recognize that Russian's invasion and a number of atrocities against Ukrainian civilians are unforgivable injustice. Most of people think Ukraine fighting attitude of resistance against the Russians invasion is indispensable behavior to carry out their justice. So in most cases, the motivation for war in Ukraine side tends to be strongly affirmed by people who clearly recognize that Russia is injustice. So provision and donation of weapons from the country that want to support Ukraine is affirmed, even if there is a huge risk behind it that this behavior will escalate war situation between Ukraine and Russia. After all, as long as people's consciousness towards conflict con consists of dualism between justice or injustice, and how war and conflict should be changes by dualism between justice and injustice, although war and conflict are denied 100% superficially, it is quite difficult to apply breaks to a series of conflicts and war in the, in the world. Because we think conflicts and war are not really bad things if there is a justifiable reason on it. So, at the time, any countries have armed forces to protect themselves from external enemies dealing with the possibility of emergency. People think that war and conflict must be affirmed in the name of justice. So if there is no dualism, no sense of dualism in war and conflict in people's minds that two opposite stands will crash each other like, you know, justice and injustice will just crash each other. And war and conflict is denied no exceptionally. So even if we abandon armed forces all at once simultaneously, from any countries in the world, no country would still march on carrying as concealed armed forces and weapons behind it. So, you know, we are surrounded by so many movies and novels and animes and other enter entertainments that affirm conflict and war from the, from the viewpoint of dualism between justice and injustice. So rather, it is more difficult to find a work without elements of conflicts, of, of war, in the movie, in novels, in animes, or something, some, something like that. So as long as I see human society objectively, our consciousness is captured by a superficial ideal that's castle in the air in ignorance of the fact and essence of the conflict in human society. So from my eyes, from my eyes, people love wars and conflicts as one of the behaviors to increase love of relatives and patriotism 
in the name of justice. So basically, um, people have never overcome instinctive temptation of war and conflict since civilizations started on this planet.